In 2021, women are still a minority in the tech sector. This impacts the way in which digital tools are built and even social equality. For an inclusive digital transition, we need more women in tech. But what's it like to be a woman in tech? To find out, I've come to sunny Bucharest in Romania. Here, I've talked to no less than 13 female colleagues, and this is what they told me. It's scary. Um, of course, we every time we face something new, it's scary, but we have to take the risk. I think that uh, the key to success is to combine and to do what you love. And this is what I love the most. I always um, say to my daughter to believe in herself, never uh, underestimate herself. And uh, the most important is uh, the attitude. If I fail, I have to learn from that experience and next time for sure it will be better. Next day I will be a better person. If you want to achieve the impossible, you just have to do the impossible. If you don't take the risk, you will not do it. You need to express yourself, you need always to uh, say your opinion and yeah, maybe sometimes you're wrong, sometimes it could be a great idea. It's challenging. It's, a, it's a, a great opportunity for a woman to have the chance to prove that uh, she can uh, be an engineer and a manager in the same team. I have joined uh, Huawei uh, 10 uh, years ago um, and uh, I, I've been recruited as a, a technical support engineer. But um, during this time I have managed to, to uh, have uh, my two children and become the team leader in the same time. Teaching was my passion as well as being a mathematician and um, I think that uh, I was somehow drawing my passion from resolving complicated problems and uh, I don't know, uh, creating even problems and uh, formulating theories and processes. And what is great about uh, uh, teaching it is that you have practically some uh, raw material that you model and you uh, teach to, to actually work together and do some end result. And in this respect, uh, also today in technology, I'm doing actually the same. The communication is the key and uh, the university helped me in understanding the, the technical terms, the technical uh, glossary that I have met at work. I was um, a part of uh, an excellence team uh, training in Shenzhen and um, I was impressed to see also women in the factory because we visited the factory and women working in the factory also in the R&D centers uh, but it was nice to see that uh, there were both women and men in, uh, in the company working uh, at our products. I was actually in Shenzhen and also in Dongguan, where we have uh, the city in a city, Huawei city in a city. Yeah, it's, it's a, a nice experience. Uh, people there are very nice. We have a lot of female colleagues there, not only in uh, engineers, but also working in other supporting uh, departments. I think personally for me, woman in power is woman who steps out of their comfort zone. And I think everyone here today, you know, only woman who works in tech, it's someone, it's a great example for the younger girls maybe who wants to enter this so-called men's world. Um, I think nowadays, you know, companies like Huawei, for example, they do provide an opportunity. And I think this is a prime example for everyone to see. Um, if you dare to try it out, if you have the confidence, you know, to speak your mind, to share your opinion without fear about, you know, failing or being rejected, you will eventually land in a place that deserves you. I think it's very important for us to 
have the courage to use a more um, active language, not the passive one. You know, when you say, um, what do you think about doing this or doing that? Instead, we, if you have an opinion, you should just use your argument and a uh, straight um, uh, language, just say, I think or I suggest we do this, to be more confident when you speak. Because if you have a good idea, it will be very good. If it's not a good idea, then you will learn from it. But you don't lose anything if you just speak your mind. Firstly, I worked in an IT Romanian company. And uh, moving in the tech sector uh, became um, more interesting for me, more, more uh, dynamic. Uh, and I think the um, word, the keyword for the um, uh, tech domain is progress. The motto that uh, drives me every day uh, is um, the following sentence. It's not about being uh, the best, it's about uh, being better uh, every day, better and be to become better and better every day. Uh, so um, in this uh, sector is everything uh, about progress. Traditionally, let's say, uh, women tend to believe that they need to work a lot harder in order to achieve performance, a performance that men just take like for granted. I really believe that uh, once um, you have an imbalance in this uh, matter, uh, for sure the company's success will not come so easy, uh, easier. Uh, in my opinion, both the employee and uh, the employer, they must be happy with each other because they work together. I, I really think the employees are uh, the most uh, uh, important resources of our company. What we need to raise, in my opinion, is that all women should desire more from themselves. And they should get into this um, male system or what says that, no, this job is not for you. No, you can do it. These all women are here for you and we are here for you. And uh, yeah, you can do it. I guess my message would be like this, uh, dear women, don't try to prove yourselves to everyone else. Just do your job as good as possible and do what you love. And only by doing that, you will have the greatest performance. In other words, we have to evolve every time. We have to become better um, uh, to uh, just us as individuals. Just not to be left alone or left behind by the information, the technology and the, the, everything in our society that, that goes on and on and it's always evolving. Tech industry is not a man's world. Yeah, it's a place for everybody, for women, for men, so uh, just uh, say your opinion, be professional, as my colleague um, said already, and uh, be there. I think you're absolutely right, and I think what I get from the conversation we have just had is that we don't compete, we complete. Women complete teams and diverse teams uh, perform the best. I leave Bucharest full of hope. My colleagues here are great at what they do, and they are also determined to help create a better world. It's not too late. If we all play our part, the digital age will be the equality age. But let's start today.